Okay, so I'm, I think I'm starting to notice what's going on here, and I, I think we're in the early stages of some sort of almost beta test. I don't know. Big Iron Riot here. Welcome to the Riot Stream, folks, where we talk about a few things that, I don't know, I'm interested in, some things I notice, stuff like that, no real rhyme or reason. Today we're going to focus on a different kind of thing. Uh, as of lately, and by lately, I mean the last two months, I've been discussing Silent Hill Ascension. Uh, more importantly, I've been mentioning Genvid, the company behind Silent Hill Ascension and all their wrongdoings with uh, the franchise I love dearest. Um, instead, we're going to turn it a little bit. Instead of talking about Silent Hill and the product made by Genvid, let's talk about Genvid instead. Because I think what we're on the cusp of is a is almost a mass-produced franchise idea uh, that, that was come up by a, a series of different beta testings uh, connected to a bunch of IPs that we all know and love. And I think that was the whole gimmick behind a product that Genvid is now selling. Now, the product is called a mile or massively interactive live event and this is what they seem to kind of use as their flagship idea when it comes to the product they produce uh, genvid itself uh, right now because it's such an early stage in the idea they're kind of just picking up the pieces here and there while they're showing others and they're kind of adding to their portfolio uh, the walking dead last mile even a pac-man game uh, early on the game rival peak was a good one um they're all testing their application not only their application but their kind of their out of the box experience with these ips known ips that way they can kind of increase their notability to any company that wants to work with them outside of that um so silent hill ascension pops in and this is the first time they've undertook a a a, a uh story or company or anything like that as big in magnitude and of course this come with various hip hiccups of course now while they have absolutely been in search of the coveted uh dollar bill when it comes to their project now it's not so much about making the dollar right now as it is finding a way to substantiate the idea that they can come to a company and say hey your favorite product your favorite ip will now get the mile makeover allowing a online event to occur in which people can simply watch the event go down not only that but throw money into it but not only that actively change the story to whatever they would like so you no longer have to hear their mouths and it's a smart idea and this is the first time you'll ever hear me say anything about genvid it's a smart idea however they're they're absolutely blind firing into every franchise they can, whatever they can get their hands on, because as you know, in order to make this work, you have to show how versatile it is. Now, let's set aside Silent Hill or Walking Dead or anything like that. I think they have a Marvel game in there. Um, let's set aside all of that and let's get down to the core details of it. And I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Now, Genvid... Genvid has absolutely removed all visuals from any other previous project that they've done unless you've actually gone to the uh, successful ones. Uh, uh, Walking Dead Last Mile was a success successful one. But let's dig way back and let's start with Rival Peak, okay? Now, Rival Peak was a early, early application. It was a uh, reality show mile, basically. Um, the the idea was that there were going to be AI contestants on a survivor-like island while people interacted, much like Silent Hill Ascension or The Walking Dead. Um, <clears throat> and when it first started out, people would make their votes and have small interactions with the AI, and it would cause different events to unfold. Each week you'd see a new episode, and then they even had a host, Will Wheaton, kind of go back and forth with them, and that was all well and good as well. Um, but early on in its application, the only thing that was profound about it was the fact that they had actually hired and enlisted the help of the ill-fated Telltale Games. Now, if you remember, they were the ones that made the Walking Dead or Batman game or the Borderlands game, the narrative version of those games. And so that's where it starts. Um, 
bear in mind all of this was on a tight, tight schedule. They had to ensure that they were making enough script and dialogue choices and things like that programming. So a lot of this stuff was down to the wire. It was very, very early in its implementation. And it's not like the stuff you see today where you can simply see an episode unfold. But this was listed as a show. Hands down, it was listed as a show, but you can affect the outcome. And that was all well and good. Uh, and it, it got views, don't get me wrong, it, it had a run, it was about a 12 episode uh, show, uh, and, and people enjoyed it enough to at least garner at least 100 million views, so it was nothing to sneeze at, there was nothing, there, was nothing there I can say was an absolute failure, um, but this was of course, as I said, almost in the beta phase, and so when you're watching this, you can tell a lot of things as each episode uh, comes up and as each ep uh, each week goes by, you can tell they've stepped up their game more and more trying to figure this thing out. And as I said, it was a good idea on paper, and so th that's what you had. You had the show built, you had interviews on the characters themselves, the AI characters. This idea, uh, this idea can quite literally be akin to kind of turning a reality show and Tamagotchi into one thing as you had viewers nurturing these characters, not nurturing them, probably the weirdest term I could use for that, but you had, you had viewers molding this show, you had them forming it how they saw fit, and it was very simple, it was, you know, throw tree branch in front of AI character, how will they respond now, and the AI responded in kind based on the obstacles thrown in their way but that that right there is something that even now is a problem that they're trying to deny and i do not know why um ai controlled characters um the only way you're going to write and be able to keep up with everything as quickly as you can and make sure to pump out videos is your business model has to be entirely dependent on the ai model and when they first started out when rival peaks first came out it made sense because you needed that. You needed the AIs to respond to whatever the the viewers were throwing. Uh, problem with that was that when we get to this point uh, about, well, let's see, uh, Rival Peak came out in 2020. Okay, uh, the genre, the genre was fresh. But even more so, the idea of AIs and chat GPTs were not prominent. It was not an issue. Now AIs are the bane of everyone's existence. At least that's what they'd like you to believe anyway. But a lot of people had problems with AI. So using that same business model and trying to convince people it's okay and you're making a new inventive thing, if you hit them with, hey, I have an AI that runs this story, people are not going to be as kind as they were four or five years ago. And now it shows because we're, we're going right into 2024 and the mention of AI has generally sent people the other direction. So whatever you've built your little empire on and the idea that you built your empire on kind of goes out the window. Um, so they had to, as we went along with their projects, they had to pretty much take a more hands-off approach to saying they used AI. And that's, that's fine. That's, that's fine if it were true. Here we go into Silent Hill Ascension, and they're flat out being accused of using AI to write the story. You have people that are making decisions for characters, much like Rival Peak, much like Walking Dead, much like Pac-Man and Batman and whatever else. You have people making the decisions, and as usual, their business model and open package allows them to just implement an AI that will respond due to what the viewer wanted. That's how they built it. But they have to deny all usage of AI, because if they don't deny all usage of AI, then we have a problem. In 2019, the MIGS conference, uh, I believe in Paris, um, had Genvid uh, speak at, at one of the podiums where they explained their business model to the crowd. Now, now MIGS is a business-to-business -business convention. This isn't for the general public. Uh, as they explain their idea, and it starts off as just your Stanley or your standard, uh, you know, average nerdy dude explaining their cool idea. However, they were explaining the core idea behind it. They wanted to know how you can get everyone into an event 
and interact with said event and have that effect not be overwhelming for the program itself. And they go into detail on a number of ways you can exp or a number of ways you can have the game or the style or system you can implement and then have people interact with. But it all came down to this: they were or they were they were preparing the idea that there was a way that you could buy services from a company that would allow you to turn whatever genre or game you had into an interactive live event. Um, the problem with that was this was of course four years and four years before uh, anything actually really 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 truly rolled off but the idea was that if they explained it to companies they instead of going to actual fans and getting money from them they would just get it from the companies build the IP into one of these concert events little interactive concert live events however you want to call it they call them miles so we're gonna stick with that the idea was that they can get a company to buy their miles package and then they'd be able to make and sustain the business that way not so much about making sales on the game itself but essentially just completing their project now a lot of things were missing back then they were not able to give server space they didn't know if they were going to do uh, make it cloud-based they didn't know what kind of AI technology they were going to use they just wanted to know what they could offer uh, so this is more of a TED talk than anything else but this just shows you what Genvid had in their brain early on before anything happened now I should note that all of Telltale or Telltale I'm sorry um, ended up jumping to this company before this event, which means they got the power of the uh, controlled narrative and the style uh, that they built, that Telltale built for so long, and they were actually taking it into this company with this new idea, which means I don't know what came first, the idea that everybody could offer decisions instead of just a single player, or the idea that they needed Telltale to do it. And once Telltale fell through, all they did was just start scooping up all the employees that ended up uh, being left behind in the dust. Now, I'm all for innovation, and I'm all for new ideas being thrown out there, contrary to what my other Silent Hill videos would tell you. I'm all for innovation like that. The idea that you can build a show based on the, based on the wants and needs of the actual viewers themselves is amazing. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. That would be a step into the the futuristic side of the world where you're controlling and and you're controlling the narrative you would like to see in a in a video or movie or anything like that. Uh, sometimes a game, but here's the problem. They're moving into the gaming realm and they can't decide which direction to go. And so when Silent Hill Ascension came out, they started making the same Miles format. They, they did the out-of-the-box Miles uh, package for Konami. They said, hey, look, this is what we do. This is what we provide. But there are a few differences. There are a few problems. Number one, we can't mention AI. That just can't happen anymore. The idea of mentioning AI is just unheard of because it will absolutely destroy the product. It will not look good on our portfolio. And we can't go to the next company and ask you to use their IP because, well, last time we did, we said we used AI and that just burned us across the board. So they can't mention that. Number two, they can't call this a game. The Miles system that they've implemented, they would, they, they want to call this a game and I get it, it makes sense, but this is not a game. This is no more of a game than a choose your own adventure book. Back in the, back in the early 90s, we had books where in the bottom of the page it says make a decision and go to that page based on your decision. If you want to jump off this cliff, go to uh, page 15. And then you go to page 15 and then you see what happens next. That is not a game. And I think Genvid is double dipping and we're getting to a point where Genvid has to be very fancy with their words because they're calling these things games and interactive and stuff like that and and it's not really working in the direction they would like and on top of that the idea that they're not using AI is laughable we've already brought this up before it's already been something everyone's brought up uh, I've even done a few uh, you know interviews and things of that sort where we we've, we've discussed it at length those interviews have since been redacted uh, I will get back to you on when I re-release those videos so stop asking anyway um, but uh, yeah no it's it there's there's no way you can call this a game and they're trying to double dip and they're trying to make the you know shareholders and they're trying to make the developers feel better about the game they have and they say hey Konami look we're gonna make you a new Silent Hill game and it's canon stop stop what you're doing because you now you've taken it into a direction where people are saying okay how do I play this game 
or you have to buy points and you have to buy things and you have to get an app and you have to make a decision and you have to show up on time every blah 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 no we live in a world where watch hours is more important than views you can get 10 billion views but if your watch hours are 500 you're far more valuable to a company which means if everyone is watching silent hill and spends about 10 million watch hours on it konami's going to be happy and they're going to keep the thing going they're going to keep the ball rolling no one's interested in views anymore because anyone can click a link so to have a mile event set up and have people pop in it's one thing to set up microtransactions or it's another thing to have your app downloaded but it speaks volumes when people want to stick around so what do you do? Make a TV show. The best way to do it, you make a TV show, you have everyone sit their butts down, and they watch it, and they watch it to the end. Whether they like it or not, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that they're sitting through it. And there have been things people have sat through where they said, well, you know, I really don't like the show, but we're in it now. People have done that. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think the the package service that GenFit is providing, they're going a bit haywire with it they're not focusing they're not aiming where they need to be aiming and i don't think they realize anymore because they're trying to grab as many categories and genres as possible and they're trying to make sure that they make it as streamlined and as, as easy as possible let's attach ais let's use the same system let's they're, they're going and using the same momentum on different categories and it's not going to work for them and they swear it will so then you get to moments where silent hill comes out and it's such a lore rich um, I'm sorry lore rich franchise that when they come in they try to use their tried and true method and they realize it's not working as well all their fans are lighting everything on fire they have to block every comment they have to, were they this bad with with uh, with uh, last mile with the walking dead was it this bad did they have to block all comments I'm very curious so as it turns out the last mile did fairly well uh, last mile did fairly well so it looks like they just chose the wrong IP to just walk into and try to use their black and white out-of-box experience with uh, it happens they're going to try it again with a different IP after they're done with this one uh, it happens fine uh, here's my thing though if you're gonna implement this do not call it any more than it is if you're going to activate AI technology and you're gonna to try to avoid the buzzword AI technology it's gonna rub people the wrong way when they find out it is in fact used or performed with AI because you can't deny it oh you can it just won't go over very well and it obviously hasn't because uh, uh, news articles and Twitter were absolutely ripped him a new one the moment he said oh no it's fine no AI was used during don't lie don't lie if this is a quick and painless and streamlined way to get new entertainment out there, awesome. We live in the TikTok, TikTok age. 15 seconds or less, we want to see videos and things like that. So awesome. If you found a way to make people watch beyond seven minutes, beyond five minutes, awesome. But don't lie about it. And Genvit is actively trying to lie about what they're using to make everything perform well. And then on top of that, they're trying to reinvent the wheel. Choose your own adventure books are very popular, and it was just a book. You'd go on there, you'd read your book, and call it a night. They're trying to add a little extra, and a little extra, and a little extra, and I get it. It looks better when shareholders come and they watch things like that and go, oh, I like that with my game. I get it. But if you add too much of the bullshit, people are going to be the first ones to call the bullshit immediately and go, no, you know what? Well, I don't know what I'm looking at. And I think Genvid Gen needs to really, really, really look at the product they're trying to push right now because as it stands, it looks like behavior's following suit and realizing that the mile event system is something that may take off. And so now they're starting. And the only reason they believe that is because they worked closely with Genvid when they made Silent Hill Ascension. Everything leads back to this godforsaken game, but now behavior believes they may have something here. And it's only a matter of time before every company has their own mile system version of a game and we're looking at choose your own adventure books based on every franchise ever. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like seeing a Metal Gear Solid game where you have to choose to hide behind a rock or hide behind a wall. It just does not sound like the thing for me. I don't know. That's just my hot take for the day. And I've got plenty, most of which most agree on and or disagree. I don't care. Whatever. I'm just glad you guys are here to hear it. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I know I did. Uh, if you uh, like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm having about 95% of the people pop in here have not subscribed yet. So they're new faces. So hi, it's good to see you. My name is Riot. I like hats. 
you'll notice after a while. Um, but hit that subscribe button, leave a comment for me, tell me what you think. Tell me, is this, this mile system, is this something that's just going to be the newest, biggest thing, the newest flavor of tea? Or is it going to crash and burn like 3D movies or, uh, I don't know, world peace? Um, hit me up, let me know. Also, check down in the comments, you'll find my Patreon link and you get your name on the screen, like so. Uh, I, we got some new patrons throughout the week and it's definitely been a Christmas miracle, but, uh, every little bit helps because I just found out I'm going to be having a baby. Well, my wife is anyway. So there you go. Nice little surprise there. So every little bit helps much love to you all. I'm getting out of here. Take care of yourselves.